Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of XCOM 2. Um, <clears throat> today we're gonna attempt to get Mox back. But first I want to unstaff this engineer. Because the 33% increase isn't really that useful. We should instead try to get more a bigger area to be able to um, should excavate in order to be able to build more stuff so I'm gonna excavate here because I want to get to the power coil to build my first um, power station there if I can get away with it so we are gonna excavate here and it's gonna take quite some time I think because it's I think this would take a shorter amount of time because it's a lower tier or something okay enough dilly dallying we're gonna take care of the mox mission now i don't think you can wait on that commander we've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the chosen we now have an opportunity to launch a rescue operation commander if we're gonna win this war we need to take every chance we get to fight back We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which require special planning and preparation. Commander, it looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Yeah, so we're going to take our tire reaper to spot. Hopefully we won't get into any sort of basically this is a stealth mission I don't really think it matters that much what the other two are but I'm gonna take um, I think I'm not gonna take a sniper with me I don't think that'll be very useful in case we do get caught I'm gonna take the grenadier as well as our a uh, specialist in case someone gets injured I'm also gonna see what kind of weapon upgrades I have so we have a stock and laser sight I don't know if any of those are useful stock means if they miss you do one damage I guess they miss constantly Oh, whatever I don't think it'll matter much on this mission so we'll just start it I like the early game because the pre-mission shit takes such a short amount of time and later on it takes so long <clears throat> so in this mission we're gonna have to get to our soldier we're gonna be revealed each soldier is going to be re uh, not revealed the opposite um, it's gonna be hidden by themselves so if one soldier gets seen it doesn't automatically re reveal the rest of the squad and they They uh, can get go into hiding again so they're basically like really bad reapers the main advantage of taking a reaper here is that we're not gonna run into anything um, on accident probably hopefully because the reapers have a much lower uh, detection radius than any other than all of the other people so we're gonna use the reaper to spot and then just try to get through this without being seen the latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead we have the advantage of stealth here so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible if the enemy spots us this is going to get a whole lot harder um so i don't have any do i have any way of getting to, I don't have any way of getting to cover on the low ground so I'm just gonna put my Reaper 
<clears throat> I think here she has the best view. And we'll use her to spot for where we can place the others. This mission would be easiest with three Reapers. I don't think that was a good idea to put him there. Because if he's flanked, he can get seen from a long way away. And with the cover being on that side, he's actually pretty likely to get flanked. So I hope we get away with it. But if we don't, then I kind of deserve it. Okay, so I am basically just gonna... I think I'm gonna go through the base. You can also go around, but then it's just pretty much the same. Uh, you have to go the same way from the right or to from the left i think so i'm just gonna use the base so we still don't see any enemies which seems strange to me but again this is one of the earliest missions so we are probably it's probably gonna be pretty easy so i'm gonna move my other units here as well and with the other units, it's, it's ex especially important to put them into cover relative to the enemies. So they are unlikely to be seen. I'm really... Wait, what can you... Oh, okay. So she could explode that. So this cover is actually not really that good. I'm gonna put her here and try to work with this. A patrol is upwind. Oh. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. So the turrets are a giant pin in the ass at the beginning. I would imagine that there's some soldiers somewhere around here and it doesn't show me as being flanked when I move them here, so I'm just gonna put them here even though feels kind of weird but there's a much larger area uh, that you can get flanked in when putting them here maybe this is the best spot okay so we're gonna have to go around this turret anyways So for her, I don't really have... Okay, so we can't put her here, because if we put her here, she'll get spotted. I can put her here, but I'm scared of there being a soldier somewhere around there. But... Yeah. I'm gonna go real slow and put her... Uh, well, this is also a bad spot. It's the only bad spots, I think. So... I really want to move her. Um, is this a flanked position? No, it's not. So I am gonna move her here because it doesn't show me as being flanked, so... Because I don't think she can see the turret from there. Okay, so we have a soldier moving in. I hope he doesn't move far enough to see my flanked unit. She might as... He didn't. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we have to definitely make sure we have sight of all the opponents we see. If we do go through here, we have to open the doors individually, because if we don't, we'll get revealed. If we go over to the right, there's probably going to be a patrol here. So I am actually considering going through these doors, even though it's a giant pain in the ass. Okay, so we have to get into this building, because he's back here. I think it always uses the same map. 
or when they do these missions. So I think we have to get in through this door. It's also a door on this side. But I think we're past the point where that makes any sense, so we'll go to the right. So first we'll move her. Okay, so we are not gonna go through the doors because that would just be stupid. We will go here. She shouldn't be flanked. I don't know if there's a soldier here. Should be bad. I hope not. Okay. Okay, so she doesn't see anybody new, so we'll put her here where she isn't flanked by anything. On the move. As far as I can tell. Okay. So now we'll move him. We can basically just move him to Um, I'll put him here because he's un, he's not gonna get flanked here I don't think but it puts him go, go, go. I hope he guys not get seen if there's a patrol there isn't okay with her it doesn't really matter that much so we'll put her here and I think that's a good turn. They have a patrol moving here. Okay, so I think we got really lucky with the placement of the soldiers as that one walks right in front of the door where we want to get in. And hopefully he doesn't, doesn't see anybody. Okay, so I kind of have to move out of the way of this soldier because if he does run into any of my people, that's really bad. And I don't, I can't predict where he's gonna move okay. to. Okay, so he doesn't see anybody here. I'm gonna use her just to get out of the way. I don't think he's gonna move this far to this side. But if he does, it would be pretty bad, but I'm not going to leave her here anyways. I'm just going to use her as a spotter and then move her. I don't know. I kind of want to keep going, but I think this is... Well, nobody can see anything, so... Unless the soldier moves completely towards this direction this should be a good place I'm actually dumb because if the soldier moves up which is the direction he was moving before he's no he's not gonna flank her I actually thought about it <laughs> I realize now after the fact so with her I think I can put her here I think the the flanked um, Reveal radius on Reapers is also very small. I'm gonna put him here. And I don't think the soldier's gonna move in our direction. Well, let's just see. Oh, he actually moved in the opposite direction, which is okay. So... We should... Try to get into the building on this turn, but to do that we will have to use her to see if there's any enemies in here. Moving as ordered. So I think we're safe moving, wait, no we're good, I think we're safe moving into the first room. Putting them on corners like this, they can pretty much see the entire room, or they can see the entire room, so this is always a good idea. Um, okay, so I'm gonna basically use both their... Oh, you can't actually move in here. That sucks. And I don't see the soldier anymore, which is very dangerous. 
I think he's here. I can see here, I think. Okay, so this is really dumb, kind of, because we can't see the soldier. Did he move behind? Well, anyways, I think this is a safe position. Getting it done. I hope. Yes, we're good. I can now see the soldier and what he can see. So I can safely move her in here. And I'll put her in this corner, I guess. I don't think it matters which corner. Well, maybe the other corner was better. I'll see. So I hope the soldier doesn't move in this direction. I hope he does. He stops now. Nope. Okay, so this raises our detection level, which means I don't actually know what that means. This means we are not supposed to shoot at them, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... Oh shit, of course he's now revealed and he can see everybody. If I move him here, I should be able to put him back into hiding. I don't know, I, it looks like I can do it on this turn. And I got spotted by the turret, which is just fantastic. Did I? I got spotted on the way, but I'm not spotted here, so I can hide him again. This means we're on level 2, which I don't know what that changes, if that changes anything. But it's kind of dumb. I'm going to move her here so I can fully see both this room and their view radius. To Okay, so I don't th see any additional enemies. And I actually don't see the, the turret, which is bad. Which is real bad. Well, I see, wait, there's a turret there, don't see the turret. Okay, so we're gonna move her here. Sure thing. What? How? By whom? By the turret, probably. God damn it. Okay. So this is everything's going terribly now. I'm going to conceal her again and move her over here. I don't know what she was seen by. Don't get it. Okay. Um we're going to want to hack this using our specialist who obviously can't go here because he'll be seen by something and I don't understand what or uh, mm, I don't know I'll put him here and we got seen again that's incredible I don't understand what's going on at all. How can he see inside the building? I thought that, well, cover provides a full, full cover provides a, um, so what I should probably should have done is use my Reaper to move outside. And not inside to just see all the enemies. So I can't actually put him back into hiding. Which is really bad, so... At this point... I'm just gonna find a place... Well... 
whatever I'm just gonna move him up here you can't see anybody I don't think um, I don't actually know if we'll get an extraction point or if we have to choose one if we do we'll just put it here and extract the next round I hope my I hope my specialist doesn't get injured if he does I hope he doesn't get killed so I'm gonna put him here where he's well no I'm putting him where she is now and I'm putting her here and I hope she doesn't get spotted too she didn't and I'm putting him here, which is only half cover, but I need to be able to, I want to be able to extract him next turn. And I hope that's good enough. And I don't think he'll be seen by anybody else. So, I don't actually know if that was a good idea I can I can hack this now with her but I won't if you hack it um, you're very very likely to get revealed which wouldn't be that bad because I can put her into cover in the same turn again but I'll see if I can hack it using him remote hack it can I even extract I can exactly extract him this means I probably have to finagle a way to um, to open the door with these two. I can also, yeah. Because I don't know. Okay, so he's going through this tile. I'll just put him here to see if we can we can hack it uh, so everything's going terribly now if we do hack it we'll just look at it I don't think we'll do it I think we should still be able to extract him because at this point we are pretty much fucked anyways so I can still extract you? no I can't god damn it uh, but I also can't stand you land I can't let you stand in the middle of the room so I'll just put you in full cover here wait what no this is wrong um, wait, what else can I get from this hack Well, that doesn't help us much. None of this helps us, so it actually doesn't matter who I use to hack. The only thing that matters is that we can't extract him, even though I thought this was the square his shortest route to the outside was going through. Okay. So basically, we're gonna put our Reaper here, hack, and reveal her. So as you can see she has a very low tech score of 10 and she has much worse probabilities than he does but it doesn't matter because I can't let him stand in the middle of the room. Okay so this reveals her. Okay so we have um, Basically, we're revealed and also we are forced to evacuate here. This means... where is it? It's here. Okay, so this means we're basically just gonna shoot a grenade and... Um, well, I can't really do that. Hmm. Well, this is bad, actually. 
Because in some missions you can actually choose your extraction point, but this probably means that we'll have additional units called in on us. And also, obviously, our Reaper is standing in front of the door. So I can't use her to pick up, can't use anybody to pick up mocks. Yeah, so this is just a giant cluster, cluster fuck, basically. If I put him here, he's probably gonna get flanked and killed. So, and she is in a very similar position. I'll just put her here. He's probably gonna get seen by somebody else now. I'm gonna put him here. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put him here, and I can't do anything with my Reaper, but she isn't revealed yet, so it's not so bad. I'm gonna go around this way, <clears throat> because if I go here, I'm gonna go through the aggro range of all of the other units. So I think that since we're on full alert now, this means we're basically guaranteed to have reinforcements called in on us. So she can't pick up marks from here, so I have to use two moves to pick him up and move again, which is really dumb. She's still concealed. Okay, I thought, uh, well, maybe picking up the unit reveals you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move her guess here why can I not oh you can't be concealed while carrying another unit that's strange I thought I did an evacuation once where I had my I don't think that was a good idea what I did there so what I'm gonna do is give her an 8 protocol which Increases the chance of her not getting shit on next round and then use him put him around the corner We're gonna have units spawn here, but they don't they can't attack on that turn. So we're just gonna run basically But we are gonna put her next to the beacon and put her on to overwatch Which makes it very likely that she'll hit one of the units that spawns now I hope. We'll see. But we kind of just want to run at this point. I think. Of course she... Well, it doesn't matter. So maybe we should take out that part. I think the... The stun lancer can move such a great distance that he's a problem no matter what. And she's now flanked and I hope she doesn't get critted. She did get critted. And we're getting uh, so we're getting reinforcements every round, which is a big problem. So basically I'm just gonna move her out of harm's way as much as possible, which is here. I need to heal her because I really don't want her to die. That would be just a big disaster. Wait, do you not? I thought that was our... Oh boy, I can't heal her. That's a big problem. Um, so we have a it's a big problem because if the stun lancer i i don't understand how stun lancers aggro works because they seem to just aggro randomly 
um, or at least it seems that way. So if the Sun Lancer attacks her, then she's gonna die probably, and that is that is really bad. So basically, but I do think that units that are carrying other units are lower on the uh, are less likely to aggro to be aggroed. I hope. Yeah, so I really, so with this grenade I can kill him and injure the other, the stun lancer and also take away his cover, so I think it's our best bet. I should probably also think about just um, dropping mocks and picking him up with another unit and putting, but it didn't actually destroy this, that's stupid. Um, I have to attack the stun lancer. I could drop Mox and pick him up with another unit. I really hope you hit that. I should have specified. I really hope you hit that and kill the stun lancer because now we're... This is really bad. So we're gonna see who the st stun lancer attacks and I hope he doesn't actually stun them. Because if he does, then that's a whole nother problem. Oh boy, that went off the rails real quick. So he's flanked us, which is also terrible. Okay, so at least he didn't... He missed and he didn't attack um, our Reaper. I hope I can actually evacuate the Reaper on this turn. I can't. Does this cost me a turn? Um, I'm basically gonna do this in order to save my Reaper. Because losing the Reaper is pretty much the worst thing I can imagine happening at this point. So I'm gonna move her up as far as I can. I'm gonna use a different unit to pick up Mox and then just run. But we do have two stun lancers that can attack two units in the next round, which is not good. It's really not good. And if we deal with these head on, I don't know. Also, I think if I go here and pick up Mox, then my turn is over. I probably shouldn't have dropped him behind cover. Okay, so what I am going to do... I think is go here and kill the Stun Lancer. The second Stun Lancer is gonna be able to attack, uh, attack us anyways. What chance do you have? 82%. I basically don't have any other use for a grenade, so I could kill him with the grenade too. I am gonna hide... I'm gonna put him... So the... I put Mox in the worst possible position here. But it was a good uh, position for uh, Dragunova. Okay, so we'll just shoot at the advent at the Sun Lancer and see how that goes. The fact that they spawned us two Sun Lancers is really bad, because Sun Lancers have a very they can move very far. Why are you flanked? You're flanked by this dude. Yeah, so I picked the worst imaginable place to put mocks. So I am gonna have to... Is there anywhere I can go that I'm not flanked? I don't think so. So I'm gonna have to go here and hope that I can actually pick up mocks from here. Next turn. But this is, this is really going poorly. Throw 
That was really lucky. Well, no, he's not flanking me. Or he's not close to flanking angle. So we, now we have to see what the stun lancer does. That's not so bad. That is a problem. Our soldiers are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. So we can't use her this turn, but at least she's not revealed. Um, we kind of have to take care of the stun lancer because I still can I can get pretty close to evacuating, but I can't tank another hit from the stun lancer and he's gonna get another hit off anyways. But we do need to run and I can't pick up marks from here. How can... Wait, what the hell? Okay, so this is just... Uh, this is just really bad. I don't actually know what to do. I'm gonna go here. Shoot at the stun lancer, I think. I don't think I can use the med kit or else it'll take end my turn and the stun and he missed his flanking shot which is terrible can't leave marks so this is just really bad at least there's full cover in that direction I don't know where She can't even kill the stun lancer. This but I am gonna shoot at the stun lancer because that is the one unit we can't run from. And they're gonna spawn us more units and more stun lancers. This is just terrible. Yeah, she should be good there because, but she's gonna, the stun lancer's probably gonna kill somebody. He also has a good cover bonus, and now we see who dies. I think she died. So she did die, which is just great. It's just great. Um. So we. We really got boned with the with the spawn of the uh, I don't actually know what happens if I abandon this mission, but I think this is the point where we have to call it. We can't like for example I can't if I pick up marks I think that ends my turn. So, and if we just run, he's probably gonna get attacked by a stun lancer next round and killed. So there's no, I am gonna do, can I actually call in? Yeah, I can. So what I am gonna do is move here, pick up marks and evacuate, but I don't um, think it'll work. I don't think that counts. So you're still in here, I hope. Closing on target position now. Pick up. I think that just counts as us leaving marks behind. You're than you look. We'll see. VIP secure and in position for evac. But the evacuation point was just terrible. It was a really bad spawn. Can I... Well, the, the original uh, extraction point despawned. So I'm also gonna evacuate her. The I'm gonna kill this dude. Because I can evacuate her after doing that. And it'll give her XP. We are known to them. So this was just terrible. I'm 
Okay, so it seems like we actually evacuated Marx. So if that's true, then it went perfectly, except for the one death, but uh, she was a squatty, so it's not that bad. Yeah, but that, so this means that in the future, So that means that I can basically just choose my evacuation point in the future. Oh, the music is slightly sad, but it's still the victory music. Okay, at least, uh, so we got marks back, which is really good. And Dragunova acquired I don't think she acquired a negative trait. She just snapped. Yeah, if I knew that, then I could have just completely avoided this whole disaster and evacuated them. Well, whatever. I understand. I don't care. So I really thought he had medical protocol, but he didn't. So I am glad to return to your service, Commander. I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. So Marx is really useful um, as a unit, and the of course uh, the the whole the faction heroes are really useful in general. So it's everything I guess worked out, even though we lost the soldier. For no reason, because I didn't really know you could evacuate like that. But that's how it goes, I guess. And we'll see how long our um, Reaper... Okay, so she's out for seven days, which is not that bad. She was tired for four anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like. And I'll see you in the next episode of um, XCOM 2. Bye.